I got, I have a couple friend, couple mm-hmm. friend. I don't yep. know how you say that. Friends that are married to each other. That's right. We're dating. Yep. Uh, they are kind of along the same lines. They're looking to build out in the country. Yep. I think up near Melissa. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put them on blast. Uh-oh. I'm not going to call them out, but I'll put them on blast. That's kind of what young people say to say, <laughs> I'm going to the, call them out. That's what the bit. youngsters are saying. He's going to, he's going to talk about them publicly. They're, they, don't really see the value of a realtor when it comes to new construction. Wah, wah, they're just wah. going, I know, well, <laughs> luckily, unfortunately I don't have that drop, but uh, they're going just straight to the builder, Yep. talking to him. Hey, this is what we want. Mm-hmm. Negotiating straight with him. Yep. Can you explain? I, yeah. I think I, I'm not a realtor, right? Right. Um, more in the marketing department, but I, I think I just had trouble explaining why it was so important that you need a realtor to do something yeah. like that. Let, I felt like there was an importance there. Can here, you explain here's, that? Here's a good comparison. Okay. Let's say their budget for a new house is 300,000, but it doesn't matter what it is, but let's just use that as an example. Now let's take $300,000 out of the real estate category and put it into a legal category. Let's say someone just sued you for $300,000, right? Same $300,000 is being put at risk one way or the other, right? And now let's say that you choose not to have your own attorney and you go to the person who sued you, you ask their attorney to help you with some stuff. How smart does that sound? Not smart at all. Yeah. By the way, they've got like 12 attorneys. They have a team of attorneys. They're a national company, international, maybe even right. And they've been doing this for 87 years. And they don't have a license holding them to an ethical standard to do what's in the best interest of everyone involved. They are an employee of the person that's suing you for $300,000, right? Now let's take it back into real estate. That's the exact same thing. The home builder has a representative who's not a licensed realtor most of the time. They don't have a ethical commitment to kind of the common good and mutual respect for each other's clients. They're I think an, you're, I think you're, <laughs> you're giving a lot of props to real estate agents. Well, nowadays. not all real estate agents are, are, you know, holding that ethical standard real high, but the point is that's what's supposed to happen. And with a good agent, that's going to happen. And then some, so you're going over to the builder and you're saying, Hey, your team of attorneys drew up these contracts and your full-time salesperson who was in the model home is the only source of information I have on this. And I'm just going to walk in totally unequipped. Even if I've watched a lot of HGTV and maybe bought or built a home before, I'm going to roll in and just take, take this builder representative's word, use the builder's contracts clearly written to favor the builder. And I'm going to be convinced by myself or that builder rep that if I don't use a real estate agent, I'm going to quote, save the commission, which is not True. It just isn't. That builder has already factored that commission into their profitability, their cost, what they might call their pro forma. And if you don't charge, if you don't get it, it's just profit margin for them. They're not giving it back to you. They're not reducing the price. Even if they did reduce the price a little bit, they would have reduced it anyway. But what you're lacking now is an agent, a representative who is ethically contractually bound to do what's in your best interest. And to say, look, you're giving a 12,000 you're you're calling the value of that granite upgrade 12,000 when I know I can have a guy come over here and do it for $2,100. Well, that's almost $10,000 difference, but you don't know that because that's what the builder rep's not going to tell you that. And say the commission would have been $8,000 like, yeah, or on whatever. 300,000, it might've been eight or nine or 10, somewhere. Right. In there, right? So, so they're already out 3,000 from, yeah. from just granite countertops. Exactly. Yep. And then there's going to be flooring and there's going to be building timelines. The builder contract's going to say, if you can't close on time, you're going to pay us a thousand dollars a day. But if we can't close on time, sorry, you will just, it'll be ready when we're ready. We'll let you know. I, I, just, there's 700 examples of why this is a terrible, terrible idea. I would no longer work here if I had a nickel every time I've heard someone say, oh uh, yeah, we were building a house, but uh, it's, you know, delayed. Right. Not, not really happening on time. Yeah. It's They said six months, but... Yeah. They said six months. We'll be in by Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Valentine's yeah. Day. God, it happens so much. All the time, right? And it's not uncommon for someone to say, oh, you know, we're just, we just drove out to a model home and we're working with the builder. Or we went to an open house and we're working with the listing agent. That's the exact same thing, except they've even labeled themselves like listing agent. I work for the listing client. I work for the seller. My job 
is to do everything I can for this not to go well for you. Yeah, I, th- I think thrilled that, that you came directly. To I me. think that's a misconception people have because people want to see, oh, this guy just wants to help me out. Like they want to see the good in in the other side, but when they're not con- contractually obligated to be right. your advocate, but yep. your opposition's advocate, then yeah. and clearly- that's why I use the legal parallel because people clearly see that, right? right? So you walk into a courtroom, the other person has a huge legal team, and you're representing yourself, or you're asking them. To also hey, represent. What should I say? Could you guys help me <laughs> against you? You know, doesn't make sense. You're listening to Texas Real Estate.